Hi everybody, this is John from USA Mond and welcome back and thanks for watching. Today I have a video about how to apply for re-entry permit. Um, if you don't know, re-entry permit is a travel document that you use to travel outside to United States for up to two years. Um, you can stay outside the United States for up to two years and use that re-entry permit to come back to, to the state. So today I'm going to show you how to apply for that document. Uh, if you're watching my my YouTube channel so far, I did a video about how to apply for a travel document, which is the same form we're going to use today, on uh, the form I-131. So first thing first, you go to the US CIS.gov website, you click on forms, and then you scroll down until you find apply for travel document form I-131. You click on form I-131 and here you are. Just like I say, just basically the same thing uh, as uh, how to apply for a travel document for the exception that um, there is few change you're going to make on the form uh, when you apply for re-entry permit. But I'm just going to go over this form again one more time uh, for people who didn't watch my my last video about how to apply for travel document. Part one, you put your last name, your first name, middle name, or information about your or a number, which is um uh, which is which you can see on your green card. Uh, you write it down right here. You tap it in here in this box right here. Country of birth. Um, you you fill that up. Uh, like I say, if you're from or France, you just put France, or uh, country of citizenship is the same thing. You put France. Um, physical address, uh, where you live, you just fill up, fill this form with your address. Um, date of birth, social security number, you put it down here. Um, and then we go to part two. Okay, here is one, one part you have to make a change compared to the other one, the uh, refugee travel document, which is for one year. And uh, like as I mentioned, re-entry permit is for two years. So here, instead of uh, mark this up, uh, uh, like applying for a refugee travel document, you're going to mark the first one up, the 1A, which is for applying for a re-entry permit. That's what you're going to uh, check. And then you put a country of birth, country of citizenship, and physical address. Uh, once again, your your last name, first name, and middle name. And then um, date of intent departure, like the day you, you, you're you planning to travel. That's what you're going to put there. Uh, expect the length of trip. If it's going to be 10 days, 2 weeks, or 3 months, a year, you're just going to put it down here. So... Have you ever have you ever been have you ever before been issued a rental permit? If yes, you click yes. If no, you mark no. And uh, if yes, then you have to put a date and all that. Remember, if you have if you are in possession of one of those documents, you have to send it back before you can get uh, another one before they can make you a new uh, travel document. So you have to put it in your package. Okay, down here, you a person included in this application in exclusive deposit, you click yes or no, whatever is you think you have to mark here, that's what you're going to mark. If it's yes, you, you mark yes. If it's no, you mark no. You just read through it. Understand exactly the question before you answer it. And then part three, um, like I say, processing information, whatever you want they, them to send you your passport. If you are outside the country, if you in you know, the United States, if it's going to be sent to the U.S. Embassy, that's where you, you just check mark or whatever uh, your case, uh, whatever is you feel you're going you're gonna to mark. Um, part four, here is also information about your purpose travel. 
Like, uh, why are you traveling for? Are you traveling to visit your family? Is it business travel? You just put a reason, the purpose here. Um, and then also here, this part have to be complete. Since you are, we are applying for reentry permit, you have to fill this form, which we didn't fill up when you apply. Uh, when, when I was showing you how to apply for a travel document. So this one right here, it says, since becoming a permanent resident of the United States, um, how much total time have you spent outside the United States? So if you travel before, then you just mark if it's six months, you mark six months. If it's six months to a year, you mark this one. If it's a year to two years, you mark this one. So whatever time you spend outside the country, you just mark it up. And um, also here, you have to answer those questions, yes or no question. Just read through it. So over here, this one is not for you because you are not applying for a refugee travel document. You don't have to do anything here. And then um, also here, you don't, you are not applying for advanced payroll. Um, and then uh, I think that's it. You just uh, did and sign, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I hope you learned something from today's tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel or you go to my website, www.usamond.com. And uh, uh, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye-bye. And also, don't forget to leave a comment because uh, that will help me to, to, to see what kind of video I'm going to put up next. And uh, once again, thank you. Bye-bye.